on SNG Daily, here's a look at top stories that are making headlines across the globe. The Philippines has accused China's Coast Guard of resorting to dangerous blocking maneuvers against a Philippine Coast Guard vessel, resulting in a minor collision and damage to the hull of the latter. Manila has also accused China of deploying water cannons, shattering the windshield of the boat and causing injuries to four crew members. As China upped its defence budget once again, it has also hardened its language on Taiwan. It has dropped the mention of peaceful reunification and switched to resolutely oppose separatist activities aimed at Taiwan independence and external interference, as per a government report delivered by Premier Li Chiang. China's defence spending will increase by 7.2% this year, making it second only to the United States. Weeks after asking India to move out its military personnel, Maldives has signed two military agreements with China. The defence agreement offers free military assistance to the Maldives in an attempt to strengthen bilateral ties. China's ambassador to the Maldives said she expected more exchanges in defence areas in the future. The signing comes at a time when ties between India and the Maldives have been strained after President Muizu came to power on an anti-India pitch. It's being called the largest corruption case in Southeast Asian history, where a disgraced real estate tycoon faces the death penalty. Shang Milan, chairperson of real estate developer Van Tin Fat Holdings Group, has been accused of siphoning $12.4 billion from Saigon Commercial Bank. There are nearly 90 accused in this case that's expected to end by April. France is the first country to make abortion a constitutional right. The amendment needed the support of three-fifths of lawmakers and cleared a special session with a majority of 780 to 72 votes. Abortion has been legal in France since 1972. But this new amendment is expected to protect it further. French lawmakers moved to make the change to the Constitution after the US Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, which now gives states the right to make decisions regarding abortion. As many in France celebrated the decision, it came despite opposition from the Church, with the Vatican declaring that in the era of universal human rights, there can be no right to take human life. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.